And hey, I'm just saying, that's why you never throw a golf club into a group of small children. It just doesn't work out. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, welcome to another episode of uh, Beer Baking with Rose. As always, Alex. We've got Chris, we got Adam. What's going we've on? We've got man? beer, we've got sports, we've got all kinds of topics to talk about. Um, got some a very interesting first beer. Uh, shout out to our boys at Cinetopical and their fans who uh, requested this kind of like a weird roundabout way. Yeah. But uh, this one's going to straight from uh, India. So it's an imported Old Monk 10,000 Super Beer. Yep. I'm kind of intimidated by the name. Honestly. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what that means. <laughs> yeah, what does that mean? <laughs> Come on. It's almost kind of like it gives you like four loco vibes. You're just like, I know I'm going to get real drunk off this. Yeah, I got a, I got a feeling it's going to be pretty high on the alcohol content. 8%. 8%? Okay, 8%. That's, not, that's not bad. It's not bad. We've definitely done higher. So For overseas export only. Uh, so do they not, can they not get this there? No, they don't drink it, man. They're like, we got to send this to the Americans. They're like, nah, this is too potent. It's only, it's only available in America and Germany because they're like, those boys can drink. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. <laughs> That's terrible. So, I actually, I have a side story that involves Australians and Fosters, so I'll get to that later, but okay. let's just go ahead and dive it's, in. It's available in India, it's just when they put it with the American labels on the back, it's, it almost it's, it's only shipped, shipped to America. Okay, okay. Because, it, it, um, you know, America, we got to have the Surgeon General warning on everything, and it's right there in the back. That's probably true, yeah. It's probably telling you not to drink if you're pregnant. It's got a picture of a nice looking monk that almost looks like George Washington. I was gonna say Ben Franklin. Ben Franklin, one, one of those. It does dudes. look like Ben Franklin. One of those. Dudes. Glasses. <laughs> yeah, if he lost his glasses, that's Ben Franklin. Uh, ben this Franklin was never from... president, by the way. Yeah. Oh God. People forget that Ben Franklin wasn't a president. No, I'm trying to pronounce where this came from. Uh, that, that's on you, bro. You know me. Yep. Uh, Mohan Nagar Distillery in Gazabad. Go, go that's where I'm gonna go. go let me it. know in the comments yeah. if I got that wrong. Yeah, let us know if we. We'll post it. a picture so you can tell us how far off we were. Yeah, you'll you'll see it. <laughs> yeah, so we got a 650 milliliters, one pint, six fluid ounces. For all of you non-metric speakers out there, that's us Americans. Yeah, it's literally <laughs> us. We're talking about us. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So let's try this. Ten thousand super beer. Let's get it. Ten thousand super beer. I said it doesn't even say what kind of beer it is. Like. What kind of blue it is? I feel like it's blue. It's pretty, pretty clean. It's in a darker glass, but it, it's see through. I can see Adam's nose. It says this beer is made for beer lovers to discover the special taste. Okay. Was it I special? Don't, I don't. I still don't know what this means. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hold my comment. Yeah, you gonna hold it? Yeah. Don't be afraid of it, Adam. Take that pool that you normally do. The Adam famous big pool. He can do it on this because I mean, it's almost a 40. Yeah. Just hold your yeah. comments. Yeah. Hold your comments. Chris getting the full lift wrap on the tip of the bottle there. Mm. It lifts all the way around the top. <laughs> Real <laughs> lippy. That is, uh, that is a special taste, all right. I kind of like it. It's not bad. bad. <laughs> It's, I kind of like it. It's like it's got a little bit of a citrus to it, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. Okay. It's got a it's got a pilsner taste to it. It's also very clear. You can, yeah. You can see through. Yeah. That. It's very light. Even yeah. for eight percent, it it is very light. Like. It's got it's got a touch of alcohol. It's got a touch. There's a ten thousand percent chance I get drunk off this. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> being eight percent and being in big bottles like this. <laughs> absolutely. How many think you get drunk? Two. Three? Three? I don't probably want to go for a third. He could, he could drink three. If I could do it, but I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be. The, I'm gonna I'm be. I'm thinking two's good. I'm gonna be some some tipsy. He can, he can drink better than we can. He could absolutely drink three of these. But but it doesn't. Yeah. I don't have a problem. He doesn't have a problem. No, no. no. I won't admit it. He just has abilities. <laughs> I was actually surprised by it though. I'm, I'm not mad at it. It's not, you know, it's one of those things where I feel like you set the bar at, all right, this is probably as good as it's going to be. And it's still not like great, but then it comes in just a little bit higher yeah, and you're like, it, okay with it. I mean, yeah. It surpasses my expectations. Yeah. Because yeah. compared to I mean, the other imports that we've had, I mean, we've had a few from Germany that just yeah, weren't just, great. Yeah, it just didn't bring any flavor. Either. Hell, we've had beer from South Carolina. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. Like, but I'm just saying just from the imports in general that we've done. Yeah, oh yeah. Um, yeah. Or our international beers in general. Yeah, Belgium, Poland, uh, Germany. We, we I, I have not been pleased with them. I mean, they've been all right. But, so this beers. was this was pretty low. It's pretty cool. It tells you the batch number and the manufacturing date. On my, on my, on my total. Uh, March 11th, 2020. Okay. 
it's, it's, it's a little over a year old. This is pre-COVID so, beer. Yeah, pre-COVID, <laughs> it is. This, this was out on the last ship before. <laughs> I really hope it doesn't have COVID in it. <laughs> but We've no, all had it. We'll find out. But to be, like, like I said, though, this is, I was kind of setting the bar real low. Yeah, yeah. Well, first off, India's not, I guess, known for making beers. So, I mean, it was already. Do you already, heard of an IPA? Huh? Yeah. You know where that came from? Indian Paleo. Yeah, but I'm just, maybe yeah. not the people of India. Either way. Yeah, I don't know. All right, yeah. Either way. Whatever. Yeah. Ignore it. We digress. Either way. So, ball was real low. Yeah. So, yeah. but it's definitely surpassed what I thought was, thought what it was going to be. Yeah. I mean, I'm not mad at it. I'm not blown away by it. Let's be clear about that. But at the same time... It's got a very Pilsner vibe to it. Alex is right, it's definitely got some citrus to it. It's got a little bite of alcohol, not overpowering by any means. Uh, Y'all, go down the line with scores. I guess I'm gonna take it out of the pool before I give it official. 71. I'm gonna go eight flat. Eight flat, okay, okay. I feel like I'm calm. I'm gonna say in the middle, but I'm not really actually in the middle. I'm gonna give it a uh, a seven three. It, again, you in between, in between the two scores. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm kind of in, in between the two scores. So, just as, again, as always, if you're if you're in the sevens, it's drinkable. Somebody handed it to us. We drink it. You know, probably not the first thing we'd seek out if we went to a, this you know brewery or whatnot. Uh, you know, eight's probably the first thing you'd seek out if you went to this brewery. I think Alex probably feels comfortable with that score. And, you know, in the nines, we obviously travel for it. And, uh, you know, that's kind of just the general overview of how the score's going. We have a uh, video breakdown of our grading yeah. scale on our YouTube channel. Check yeah, so make sure you check that video out. Uh, we give a pretty good in-depth, uh, you know, breakdown of, of the scores and how it goes. But um, all in all, first beer from India. Not bad. Not bad. I'm not like, terrible. I'm kind of, I kind of hope that, like, a lot of, like, their followers from India like get to this video and let us know like are we just drinking like the bush light version oh god yeah. or are we drinking an actual like an actual good like yeah or, <laughs> yeah you know, special yeah. beer i mean i don't know if they can actually ship us beer for us to try but yeah, probably i wouldn't think you could i don't know that they could but if you can obviously you let us know we'll give you an address you can send yeah. it here and we'll review it of course but just reach out yeah i mean I, I have a feel like I asked an Australian person one time when I was doing international tourism, like how what was Foster's like the Bud Light of Australia? No. And he was like, no, it's below that. It's like the Ice He's, House. Yeah. He was like, what is the literal worst beer in America? And I was like, probably Ice House. And he was like, it's below that. I was like, okay. He was like, like even though like that's all the commercials you see and like that's what you think of when you think of an Australian beer is Foster's. Yeah. Yeah. They hate it over there. Yeah. They really do. They really do. He, I mean, he was literally like, almost oh, two for one right Fosters. I was like, oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> it is terrible. Apparently. So, um, I hope that this is not the, the Fosters of India as well. Well, if yeah. it is, then I'm okay with it. Yeah, I mean, truly, it really, really is. This is decent. Yeah, this was really decent. Yeah, this so. is actually pretty decent. So, um, yeah. What's, you know, the, the, what's the cultural, sc cultural score of this beer over there? That's what I want to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, for them, I mean... It'd be great to kind of reference it to some type of American style beer. It really would. Like, is this like the Bud Lights, Miller Lights, like everybody drinks it, or yeah. is it more like the, I don't know, like a specialty craft beer? Is like it? A, is it a Yingling? You know, yeah. somewhere in the middle. Quiet, yeah. Quiet, yeah. Quiet, yeah. yeah. Lager taste. Yeah, that would be pretty. But cool. that's what I was expecting to see on the bottle too. Was like, whether it was a Pilsner, whether it was a Lager, whether, you know, what depending on what it was, but it doesn't. If I mean, it feels like a Pilsner, like from weight. From texture, from taste. But, but like they said, the way it tastes and the way it sits. Feels like Pilsner. Yeah. Yeah. Like not a, not a domestic like Budweiser Pilsner, but like an actual craft beer Pilsner. Yeah. So, all right. Any hey, other man. thoughts? I don't know. I, I liked it. I wasn't, wasn't mad at it. Wasn't mad at it. All right. Once again, it's a 7 3, 8 flat, 7, seven 1, one uh, at the end of the table. And uh, that was the old monk. 10,000 10, super, super beer. Ten, yeah, 10,000 super beer. And the very top says, go for monk.